You're watching the September edition of the Library Roadshow, everything you need to know about your local library system. Now, just a few short months ago, I spoke with Will Minton about the mayor's new Cradle to K initiative. Will joins me now for an update on this very important project. Okay, Will, first off, why do we even need a program like Cradle to K? Cradle to K is really important because parenting is really hard. So what we're trying to do with Cradle to K is offer parents a very simple and clear framework that they can use to inform their daily habits with their children. And that framework is really grounded in our pillars of patience, curiosity, and conversation. And unlike so many other programs that are good for us, this is not a program where somebody just comes and lectures to you and says, do it this way. It's totally different. Exactly. So we really focus on sort of a facilitation model and a, an asset-based model, right? So we bring parents together and we give them opportunities for reflection around these different pillars. And we have facilitators in those conversations and the facilitators are important, but it's really about the insights and experiences that parents are bringing themselves. Because peer to peer, they'll believe each other before they'll believe an expert, won't they? Right. Experts often like to focus on the, the information that they think is important mm -hmm. without enough emphasis on the way that people are engaging with that information. Okay. And we think the way that people engage with the information is, is critical. Um, information by itself doesn't tend to change behavior no matter who you are. There are all sorts of things I know that I should be doing. Um, that I'm not doing. But with right. that peer group, it, in a way it's kind of like exercise. If you're exercising with a peer group, they're crackling along and that whole cohort kind of moves forward a little bit. So what are we trying to do? We're not trying to exercise our bodies. Instead, we're trying to get parents to spend time with their children, to read to their children even before they're born, mm -hmm. and, to, and to engage using those three pillars. I especially love that you have patience in there. That is so important. So Cradle to K has been in effect for a little bit more than a year. What has actually taken place with this initiative? So we've done a number of things. The first thing we did was talk with all the different partners who work in this space so we could figure out how we could sort of catalyze partnerships and add real value. After we did that, we created some original programming. So we set up these family engagement corners at WIC Clinics, mm -hmm. uh, which is a partnership with the library, the Department of Health, um, as well as Southern Service Learning Program. We had about 200 parents come out to at least one of the events mm -hmm. and close to 100 parents come out to multiple events. That's great. And this is where we really did the facilitation model mm -hmm. that we were talking about before, where we have parents sitting in, in circles and just sharing the, the stresses and joys of parenting. You know, our survey data was incredible from it. I'm parents Parents really appreciated that opportunity. Um, I said information by itself doesn't change behavior. What changes behavior are these opportunities for reflection and creating social norms around certain ideas. There you go, creating a social norm. And one way to do that is through social media. So you hooked into social media in a very big way. It's all about Facebook and communicating online. And again, mm -hmm. building that cohort, building that network of people all encouraging each other and giving each other support. That's really been wonderful to see. And Will, it's our people. It's, it's East Baton Rouge families. It's our norms. It's not just something that's happening over in Chicago or Washington, D.C. So I think our parents really appreciate that. Right. And with social media, first, I'm going to encourage everybody to go check out Cradle to K Baton Rouge. Okay. Um, Facebook is where we're most active. All right. And with our social media strategy, we really are trying to elevate local voices okay. um, and create this peer-to-peer -peer dialogue. So we've done a series of videos, I think over 20 videos at this point, with different parents in the community where they're talking about these pillars of patients, curiosity, and conversation, what it looks like in their own lives. And then we're able to promote it, and then they promote it within their, within their own social networks, and we yeah. get this sort of organic Ripple. reach about these ideas. I love that. So what's in store for the future? Well, right now we're looking to expand beyond our direct programming. Mm -hmm. um, we're really proud of the results that we had through our actions in these partnerships with Parent Club and the WIC Family Engagement um, Corners, and we're going to continue to do that. But right now we're trying to get the message about our pillars uh, to come through all of our other partners as well. Okay. Right? So it's not just a, a city initiative, but parents are seeing this through the school system, through the library, at public transit, at doctor's offices. And we want to get all of our partners around this common language so we have a clear message of what supportive parenting looks like. Right. After the break, Kim Noble Calhoun, plus a book review from one of our youngest library patrons. All that and more coming up next on the Library Roadshow. <laughs> 